What's up everyone and welcome to the club. It's Sketch Saturday, so today we're going to be drawing Naruto. So grab some paper and a pencil and let's get started. I'm going to be using a 3B pencil. So this pencil is a lot softer than your standard HB pencil. So we start in the center of our page and we're going to sketch in a circle. Starting from the very top, I'm using a side grip on my pencil. I'm just going to lightly sketch out a circle. Now using these short choppy lines is a lot easier than trying to complete a circle with one continuous line. I'm just going to work my way around and just correct the line as I go. Now let's split this circle in half. Starting from the very top, we draw a straight line coming down. Now we're going to extend this line all the way down towards the bottom of our page. Now let's divide this circle across from left to right with a straight line. Now we want to locate the eye line. So we're going to have the head tilted forward. So the eyes are going to drop down below the center of the circle. Starting over on the left side, we're just going to curve down in towards the middle and then back up on the right side. Now we're going to locate the center of the eyes. We want to find the halfway point between the center line and the edge of the circle. So right here, we draw a straight line coming down and intersect this bottom line. Let's do the same thing on the right. We want to locate the center point and draw a short line coming down. Now this intersection here is the center of the eye. So let's draw in the iris. We're going to draw a small circle going all the way around. We're going to do the same thing on the right side. We just want to make sure that we line these up. Now let's draw in the upper eyelid. On top of the circles, we can draw a straight line going across on top. And then from the inside, right at the top here, we're just going to curve down and in with a short line. Now let's move to the outside of this line. We're going to draw a short angle line coming in, just on the outside of that circle. And now we're going to connect the outside to the inside with a curve, just a light curve going across. Now let's draw on the lower part of the brow. Starting from this point in the eyelid, we're going to angle down and in to right about there. Do the same thing on the right. And we're going to angle up and in with a short line. Now let's draw on the lower edge of the headband. Starting from the left side, we're just going to curve down in the middle, just up above the eyes, and then back up on the right side. And then from the sides, we're going to go straight up the side of the headband. And then let's draw on the top of the headband. Starting back on the left, we're going to draw that same curve. Coming down the middle, and then back up on the right. Now let's move down towards the bottom of the circle. We're going to draw a straight line going across, just lightly, to create a guide for the jawline. And then from the side of the head, we draw a straight line coming down towards that line. Now you want the side of the head to angle in towards the jaw. So we start back at the top, we're just going to pull this in slightly, down towards that line. Now we're going to line up the nose with the jaw. So in the center, we're going to step down, start with a small line going across. We're going to angle up and out towards the left and then the right. Directly below the nose, we're going to draw a straight line for the top of the mouth, going from left to right. And we're going to do an overlap on the corners of the mouth. We're going to step up, we're going to angle down and out on either side. And then from the ends, we're going to come down and in towards the bottom of the mouth. Now let's draw a line going straight across from left to right. Now we're going to lightly block in the teeth. On the left side, we're going to draw a straight line coming down. Do the same thing on the right. We're just going to shade in the corners of the mouth. Now from here, we're going to locate the bottom of the chin. But first, we're going to draw on the lower lip. So just underneath the mouth, we're going to draw a short line going across. Now we're going to move down and draw a line to indicate the chin. Now we're going to go back out to the jaw. We want to round this out. So just pulling this in, sort of aiming towards the chin. 
And we're gonna draw a straight line coming down and we're just gonna round out the chin. Coming down and in. Go back up on the right side. Now let's move up and block in the ears. From this center line, on the left side, we're just going to go straight out with a short line and do the same thing on the right. Now from the ends, we're going to step out, draw an angle line coming down and in. And we'll come down and in behind the head. Now we're going to move up and define the size of the hair. So from this corner of the headband, I'm going to draw a half circle. It goes up and then down on the right side. And now we're going to start adding the hair spikes. We're going to start with the two bangs on either side first. So on the left side, we're going to curve out and then down, and then taper this back up. Let's do the same thing on the right side. Coming out and down, and then tapering that back up. Let's add a smaller spike on either side. Coming out and down, and then tapering that back up towards that outer half circle. Now going back to the left side, we're going to start adding those spikes going around. So starting on the edge of the half circle, come out, taper that back up. And we're just going to continue all the way around. And you can bend these spikes if you like, you just curve them out and then back in. Now right here, I'm just going to curve this up and back in. Do a smaller one along the top. I'm going to go a little bit bigger as we get to the top of the head and start to bend them over towards the right. And it's always a good idea to pull back and just check your drawing as you go. Now let's block in the metal plate on the headband. We're going to line up with the edge of the eye. We're going to draw a straight line on the left and then the right. Let's add the scars on the side of the cheek. We start on the left side, we're gonna curve up and then in. Line this up on the right, curve out towards the right side. Now we're gonna step down, curve up and in. And draw a shorter one along the bottom. Now let's draw on the sides of the neck. We're gonna line up with the center of the eye, come down underneath the chin, Draw a short line coming down, and do the same thing on the right side. And then we'll add the top edge of the collar. Starting on the left side of the jaw, curve down, go just underneath the chin, and then back up on the right side. Now from the neck, we're going to step out, we're going to draw a short angle line coming out and down in behind the edge of the collar. Now we're going to move up towards the ear and draw on the side of the collar. So out here, we're just going to curve out and down and come all the way down towards the bottom of the collar. Let's line this up on the right and do the same thing. Rounding it out at the top and then coming straight down. Now in the center, from the top of the collar, we're going to come all the way down here. We're going to mark this and we're going to follow that same curve going up and out towards the side of the collar on the left and right side. Now we're going to line up the top of the shoulder on the outside of the collar. So we're just going to draw a short angle line going out and down on both sides. From the center, we're going to step out and draw two straight lines from the top of the collar all the way down towards the bottom of our page. Now we're going to add the ribbing across the collar. From this line, I'm going to step out, just lightly draw in a line, step out again, I'm just going to repeat this all the way out towards the side of the collar. Do the same thing on the right side. Now let's block in a simple zipper pull along the bottom of the collar. So two straight lines coming down, and then we'll close off the bottom. And then at the bottom here, we're just going to add a small square. Now that we've blocked out our character, I'm going to switch to a standard grip and start detailing out the character.
It's also a good idea to lay a piece of paper just underneath your hand so you don't smudge your drawing. Now at this stage I like to go in with an eraser and just knock back some of these guidelines that I started with. And now I'm going to go in and start detailing out that metal plate. Now I just want to leave a gap along the top and the bottom. So we're just going to round out the sides on the top and then the bottom. And then just lightly sketch out the sides. And along the top, I'm just going to follow the same curve of the headband going across. And we'll do the same thing along the bottom.
I'm gonna add some rivets along the top and then the bottom. So tiny little circles. Now to give it that metallic finish, we're gonna add some shading. So let's start over on the left side, just on the inside of those rivets. We're gonna draw a straight line coming down. And then I'm gonna lightly shade in towards the center. And it's gonna get a little bit lighter as you come in. And then we'll go back to the outside and just darken this up. And then we're gonna do the same thing over on the right side. Start with that straight line coming down. We're gonna come in, draw another line. I'm just gonna fill this area in. And just we're gonna lightly shade the outside, just around the rivets. And then on the inside, we're just gonna blend this in. We're just gonna fade as we come in towards the center. We'll go in and add the symbol. We're gonna start with the swirl first, starting on the outside of the top. Come around, almost like drawing a six. I'm just gonna darken that up. And at the top, just gonna angle up and out. Just gonna thicken up our lines a little. And along the bottom, we're gonna go straight across. We'll angle up towards the top of that swirl. Then I'm just gonna add a little shadow from the hair on top of the headband. So just underneath, we're just gonna shade this down. And then the same thing on the right side. Let's add some hair just underneath the ear. Starting out here, we're just gonna angle down and out. And back up. Add a little bit of shading. And now we're gonna go in and start detailing out the collar. And then we're going in to find the ribs of the collar. We're just gonna be using these lines as a guideline. So just coming down, going back in. We're gonna be overlapping these lines.
And then the last thing I'd like to do is just go back in and start tightening up the lines and the shading. And as I get closer to the end, I'm going to continue polishing up my drawing. And that's pretty much it. There's my sketch drawing of Naruto. I hope you enjoyed today's sketch session. Please make sure you subscribe and send me your requests in the comments down below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.